Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Welcome to our 30th newsletter. Today we have some encouraging news for the aging community where we see increased attention from both the private and the public sector. Also a new study of a CERT1 activator that inhibits bladder cancer. First, we would like to give a shout out to our supporters who are very generous to buy us some coffees. It encourages us to continue to share information on aging research. Thank you so much for your support. Here we see an example of more private sector money coming into the study of aging. Altos Labs is a company which has recently been formed in Silicon Valley. It is a well-funded startup aiming to investigate longevity. It was started by Yuri Milner, a billionaire entrepreneur, and investors are rumored to include Jeff Bezos. The company is looking at cellular reprogramming technology to rejuvenate cells in a similar way to TurnBio, who we spoke to previously. The company is incorporated in the US and UK and will open locations in the Bay Area, San Diego, Cambridge, UK, and Japan. As it says, they are recruiting scientists to look at some blue sky research in the aging area. Among those who've signed up are Dr. Juan Carlos Belmonte, the first person to show Yamanaka rejuvenation in mice in vivo. Dr. Steve Horvath, inventor of the epigenetic clock, and Dr. Shinya Yamanaka, the Nobel Prize laureate who found the eponymous Yamanaka factors of cell rejuvenation. As well as reprogramming, Altos is also concentrating on epigenetic clocks as unless you can measure the progress, it's hard to develop anti-aging therapies. I think that it's really exciting as we need new ways to progress aging research. And this offers another approach beyond the short-term need to show results that can be leveraged to create products. It is also great to see some of the big names getting into aging. As well as Jeff Bezos's interest, we see Richard Branson talking with Dr. Sinclair. Please make your own best guess as to what their topic of discussion is. Underdog Pharmaceuticals is a spin-out company from SENS, which recently announced it has been awarded Innovation, Licensing and Access Pathway, or ILAP, from the UK government to pursue treatment for cardiovascular disease. ILAP is a new protocol in the UK, similar to the FDA Emergency Use Authorization to Fast Track Treatments. Cardiovascular disease is the world's most life-threatening condition, with 40% of deaths in the Europe and the US. Underdog has a drug called UDP-003, designed to target and remove toxic oxidized cholesterol, a key driver of arterial plaque accumulation. Here is the data graphically, where we can find atherosclerosis is the leading underlying cause of death at 44%. Aside from this particular treatment, it's really encouraging to see moves from the UK government to speed up the approval process for new drugs that tackle diseases of aging. You may have heard of the Blue Zones, areas where people tend to live longer and healthier lives. Dan Butner, the investigator who first wrote about them, has come up with the key qualities that make up the lives of the people in these zones. From this, has come a blueprint for how to model lives that would match this. As with all lifestyle or habit choices, the environment is key. So the idea came to build an environment which intentionally recreated that of the Blue Zones. The first one of these is now being created in Miami. Aging healthily involves a lot of life choices, and it is good to see efforts to create an environment to encourage people to make the right ones. Our next story for today comes from a tweet by Dr. Sinclair about how Super CERT1 activator SRT1720 inhibits bladder cancer. We talked about SRT1720 in an earlier video. Here is the molecular structure of SRT1720. It is an analogue of resveratrol and one of the CERT1 activating compounds. It was originally developed by CERTIS Pharmaceuticals, a company that Dr. David Sinclair co-founded. Let's go briefly through some of the studies on SRT1720. CERT1, an anti-inflammaging in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. 
you can see from the chart that within the anti-inflammaging molecules, the benefits of CERT1 activators, other than being anti-inflammatory and anti-aging, CERT1 activators also had the effect of anti-senescence and enhanced metabolism. The paper also mentioned that CERT 1720 is reported as a potent CERT1 activator with 800 to 1000 fold improvement of efficacy over resveratrol. This study, entitled NAD Plus Dependent Deacetylases and Medical Therapy, published in 2016, mentioned that SRT1720 was the most effective CERT1 activating compound and stimulated 750% CERT1 activity at only 10 micromoles. SRT1720 inhibits the growth of bladder cancer in organoids and murine models through the CERT1 HIF access. In the study, they looked for drugs which would help with bladder cancer in organoids. An organoid is a small and simplified version of an organ produced in vitro in three dimensions that shows realistic microanatomy. They are derived from one or a few cells from the tissue. They are closer to a true organ than just using individual cells when modeling diseases. They found that SRT1720 significantly inhibited growth of both mouse and human bladder cancer organoids. It also worked on mice in vivo and in human PDX bladder cancer, where PDX is a patient-derived xenograft, so a graft from a person who has cancer to another animal, for example, a mouse. They also showed that mutating CERT1 decreased the effectiveness of the treatment, so showing that CERT1 activation from SRT1720 is the mechanism of action. So the study demonstrates the power of drug discovery through organoids and also raises the possibility of SRT1720 as being a treatment for bladder cancer. Great to see a CERT1 activator getting some positive results in a trial and hope that we will see a follow-up clinical trial. And as a wrap-up, Dr. Sinclair and some of the other major names in longevity were at the Aging Research and Drug Discovery Workshop, where they took a group photo, which Dr. Sinclair tweeted. Here is the expanded version, a real gathering of some of the legends in aging research at the moment. How many of them do you recognize? <laughs>